Have you ever wanted to make a video look like it's from the 80s or 90s? Just take some imagination. That must be cool. If you want to know how to make your video look vintage, this tutorial is for you. Let's get started. To give our video a vintage look, Firstly, we want to find a piece of background music that sounds retro. We can search into keywords like lo-fi, vaporwave, and disco to quickly get a desired music. Next, free download the video product flagger from the comment section. Launch up this free video editor, start a new project. Drag and drop the selected music file onto the program. Then drag it onto the audio track. Based on our favor, we can adjust its duration. Navigate to the inspector panel on the top right and add a music file with a fade out effect. We already set a retro tone for the video. Let's import a video clip to this video editor. Then drag it onto video track to make a rough cut. After that, we can color grade the pictures that look not vintage enough. Find the color icon on the toolbar for creating an old pottery style. We can adjust these parameters in the first place. Increase the saturation while keeping a clear outline of the people in the picture. Then we get to the sharpen section. This section matters a lot for giving the video a vintage look. Select its option box. Then we adjust the parameters of amount radius. When completing these adjustments, click on apply. Now let's compare what we get with the original. The retro view is enhanced. Let's open up the effects panel. The old TV1 filter is a great example that can fade our purpose. It simulates the frame of the old TV and gives us an RGB splits effect. We just need to drag it onto effect track and use our mouse to adjust its duration to make the effect end in the middle. Next, we can add a transverse filter to the latter half. This filter also gives us a strong feeling of vintage. Drag it onto effect track. Like we did before, here we can adjust its duration to make this filter look more natural. In addition to adding the existing vintage effects in Video Prog Flagger, we can also add our own retro footage. Simply search into keywords such as Film Scratch, and a few words on free stock video sites. Add them all to the video editor. Drag the film scratch clip onto overlay track. Adjust its size on the preview window to make sure it overlaps the entire window. Adjust its duration. Go to the inspector panel to find the fade and move section. Add a fade in and a fade out effect. Then scroll down to go to the Compositing menu. 
We want to add a blender mode. Select a lighten. Now we can see the vintage footage perfectly blend with our video. Apart from that, we can click on a plus icon on the far left of the overlay track to add a new overlay track. Then we can add a film burns clip in between two videos to create a transition effect. Adjust its size. And then use the screen blend mode. That's it. Last, let's click on the first video and add it with a somatic opening scene. For example, we select a vertical open. Move the second keyframe backward to make the footage gradually appear. Hit apply to get back to the main interface. That's all for creating a retro style video. Alright, now you've learned how to give your video a vintage look. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We'll see you in our next tips. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!